Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Echo Tango Echo voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 4 september 2016. Dus het dritte van zondag. Vandaag is er Mosse en een SSTV afbeelding in PD50 en Data in 8 PSK 1000 rond 1500 hertz. Vandaag hervat ik de serie over digitale datamodulatie soorten op de korte golf. Het tweede deel van de serie over digitale modus waarvan het eerste deel ging over digitale spraak. Tijdens de serie zal er ook weer af en toe data worden uitgezonden, niet iedere dag, maar op dagen dat dat gebeurt wordt een korter SSTV plaatje uitgezonden, zodat de uitzending hierdoor gemiddeld niet langer wordt. We beginnen de serie over digitale data met in twee delen een interview in het Engels met Murray Greenman, Zulu Lima 1 Bravo Papa Uniform, over de chatmodus FSQ. Morgen het tweede deel. De datamodus voor vandaag na de SSTV is dus 8 PSK 1000 rond 1500 Hz. Je kunt dat zoals ook in het verleden ontvangen met het programma FL Digi, dat er ook voor Android apparaten is. Dat programma kun je voor de meeste datamodus gebruiken. As in all weekends, our bulletin is in English, just as the Monday morning repeat. We start today with a bit more than two minutes DX news, and after that the first part of an interview with Murray Greenman, Zulu Lima 1 Bravo Papa Uniform, on his chat mode FSQ. Juliet Hotel 1 Mike Lima Oscar will be active again from Koror Island, Palau, until September 6 as Tango 88 Hotel Romeo. He will be operating on 40, 20, 17, 15, 10 meters SSB and RTTY. JR1 FKR will also be active again from Koror Island, Palau, until September 7 as Tango 88 Tango Juliet. He will be also operating from 40, to 10 meters SSB and RITI. Italy Zulu 4 Juliet Mike Alpha will be active from Skyros Island September 5 until 11 as Sierra Victor 8 slash India Zulu 4 Juliet Mike Alpha. Oscar Hotel 6 Romeo X-Ray and Oscar Hotel 7 Whiskey Victor will be active from Saipan Island September 7 until 11 as Alpha Hotel 0 Kilo. Plan is to be also active in CQWW, the XSSB and CW contests. Oscar Hotel 3 Juliet Romeo will be active from Market Reef September 10 until 17 as Oscar Juliet 0, Juliet Romeo. He will be operating on HF bands. Italy Zulu 4 Juliet Mike Alpha will be active from Aegina Island September 12 until 17 as Sierra Victor 8 stroke Italy Zulu 4 Juliet Mike Alpha. Juliet Alpha 6 Romeo Echo X-Ray and Juliet Hotel 6 Hotel Zulu Hotel will be active from Chuk Islands or Chuk Truck Islands September 19 until 25 as Victor 633 Kilo Sierra and Victor 633 Zulu Hotel. They will be operating on 80 to 6 meters CW SSB and RITI. November India 1 Lima will be active again from Lord Howe Islands September 20 to 27 as Victor Kilo 9 Lima November. He will be operating on 40 to 10 meters, mostly CW with some RTTY and PSK. Papa Yankee 2 Delta Sierra, Papa Yankee 2 Victor Oscar X-Ray, Papa Yankee 2 Alpha Echo and Papa Uniform 2 Papa Oscar Papa will be active from Guarao Islands September 24 until 25 as Papa Romeo 2 Golf Uniform. They will be operating HF bands. I'm Will Rogers, K5 WLR with this rain report. That's the sound of FSQ, Fast Simple QSO. One of the New Zealand hams behind it is retired electronics engineer Murray Greenman, ZL1 BPU. When Murray isn't driving a school bus in his retirement, he's dabbling in the digital realm of amateur radio. I've been interested in finding a way of providing good comms for emergency operation for some time. But my friend con ZL2AFP and I have been chatting about that and exploring other modes. As you probably know, I specified MFSK-16 back in 1999 and it's sort of developed from there. The most recent couple of developments that con and I have done have been Domino EX back about 96 or thereabouts and then WSQ, Weak Signal QSO, which was developed for the really long wave bands it's extremely sensitive, but the, what we developed for that was several of the things that are now in FSQ. First of all, the alphabet and the use of 33 tones and the business of not having any sync. That all came in WSQ, and, and we got to thinking, this is sort of the middle of last year, 
how it might be possible to speed the whole thing up and make something useful for a chat mode that we might be able to add things to to make it useful for emergency comms. And by chat mode, I mean a way that you can have a conversation with somebody that's unlike a rag queue. Conventional rag queue QSOs, somebody wibbles on for five minutes and then they put it over to somebody else and they wibble on for five minutes. Whereas a chat is like a face-to-face conversation. You have a, you say a sentence, and while you take a breath, someone else says a sentence. Well, that's what we had in mind. WSQ worked by typing a sentence and pressing enter. But of course, it was very slow. It only worked at about three words a minute. So we thought, see if we can speed this up. That's what got us started. That was about July, August last year. FSQ means, or stands for, Fast, simple QSO, and that's relatively self-explanatory, and I think it explains exactly what it does. It's a chat mode that uses 33 tones, and because it uses so many tones, it's able to send a letter of the alphabet on one tone. So despite the fact that the, the tone rate is quite slow, sort of thing, it's able to send a whole letter on each tone. So the typing speed is quite fast. It's a frequency shift key mode with 33 tones, giving 32 tone differences. It uses incremental keying, which means that the information is sent not in the value of the tone, the audio frequency tone, but in the difference between that tone and the previous one. That's what incremental frequency keying means. That has several advantages. One of them is that it makes it drift proof. Another one is that it makes it much less affected by Doppler shift, which is a common problem on signals on these frequencies. And the third thing is it has to do with the way the synchronism or lack of synchronism works. You don't ever get two tones, one after the other, that are the same. So it can work out where each tone finishes and the next one starts easily. And the final thing about that is that because you never get two tones the same or even adjacent, the tones don't interfere with each other. And while you say... Well, hang on, send one tone after the other, how can they interfere with each other? The answer is they often arrive from different ionospheric paths and therefore overlap. So we need to make sure that the signal doesn't interfere with itself when it's coming by different paths. This is MVIS after all. What if you're using two letters that are identical in a row? Ah, remember it's incremental. The value of the letter is sent not in the value of the frequency of the tone, but in the difference between one tone and the next. So, for example, if you hit the space bar several times, you get da-da-da-da-da-da-da, not the same tone all the time. Because there's a difference, there's also an extra one added. It's it's a bit complicated, but it's an offset incremental frequency keying system. Domino EX used the same thing. Once we proved that it did work sped up, we also discovered that it was also quite robust. We spent quite a lot of time adjusting the parameters, the board rates and the spacings and all that sort of thing, to suit the sort of propagation you get on 80, 40 and 30 metres, especially 80 and 40, which is near vertical incidence signals, NVIS stuff. And once we'd got that worked out, we realised that it was extremely robust and didn't require any error correction. The whole business of adding the commands and so on for emergency comms and the general fun of it came along from that. I specified the command structure. It's sort of quite new. Nothing's ever been done quite like that before. That's how it sort of grew. What kind of issues are your new FSQ users encountering or reporting to you? The first one is how little they read the documentation. Most of the questions that are asked can be answered by reading the documentation. Others are difficult to answer at all because they have unreasonable expectations. But there are some really interesting ones. I I met one yesterday. A guy was asking... Why do, when we've got perfectly good text communication using FSQ, why do the images that we receive, because this is, it's able to see in pictures as well, why are the pictures noisy? And the answer to that is not as simple as you might think. It's to do with the fact that when you're receiving tones, individual tones which are used for text, you're receiving them in individual filters that are three hertz wide. Whereas when you're receiving the images, you're receiving them in a single modulator process which is 400 hertz wide and so the signal to noise ratio is correspondingly worse. There have been lots of questions about the syntax of the commands and why they work like they do and why can't you do this and why can't you do that. To some extent it's unreasonable expectations but most of the time it's operational 
problems. People not setting the software up correctly, problems with sound cards, particularly have problems with computer-operated transmitters, cat control. Deze middels zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Nou, dat weten we dan ook weer. Ja, interessant. En straks het journaal weer. Ja, dat moeten we niet missen. Heb je zin in koffie? Ja, lekker.